Right, now I'm going to teach you about uh, the basic safety uh, strategies of using the bow. Okay? When the bow is strung, if you do pull it back with nothing in it, you absolutely cannot let it go. You have to release it quite slowly because what will happen is the kinetic energy has to go somewhere. It will go into the bow. Uh, it can either snap the bow, snap the string. Either way, it's not very good for your face, which is in the area. Okay? This is a right-handed bow. The way that we can tell that is because the arrow rest is on the left-handed side. At Belgiani, they do have uh, a letter and a number. If it starts with an R, that is a right-handed bow. If it starts with an L, that's a left-handed bow. If it says A, that is an ambidextrous bow. It means it can be used by left-handed and right-handed people. Okay? So for a right-handed bowman, what you've got to do is you will be holding the bow in your left hand and pulling the string back with your right, okay? So they do have a little handle here. Sometimes you will see people holding it like there, up here, down here, straight over where the, uh, the arrow is meant to go. People are a little bit stupid. Just make sure they are holding it at the right part and keeping their fingers away from where the arrow is. I have had some people uh, do some near misses. Okay, so with the arrow rest here, what you want to do is you just stick the arrow on the arrow rest there. When the arrow rests are good, they should have a, uh, a nice little nook for the arrows to sit on. If they're flat, that means they are broken and they will need to be replaced. Okay? So the arrow sits on top of there. As you can see, the flights of the arrows have two different colours. The odd colour out, in this case, is, is yellow. That is the colour that sits on the outside of the bow. The reason that is, is because as it flies through, the flights are going to miss the bow. If you put it the opposite way, it'll rip the flights off as it goes through. On these arrows, they have a nice little clip. So it should clip on just between the two finger rests. Okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull back one finger at the top, one finger below, and you're going to pull back just like that. 